Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is cinnamon vanilla, and I'm going to have that with some cinnamon creamer. And we're having a high of 72 here today. So it's supposed to be sunny, but right now it's a little bit overcast. And I think it'll be a good day to maybe start working on the fencing in the garden. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you never know what's going to pop up for today's chores. We're not supposed to have any rain. So I'm not looking forward to this project one bit. Um, fixing the fencing is requires me to pull out a lot of stakes and some of them are fairly deep in the ground so I may need some assistance but there's nobody here to give me assistance so I'll just have to wait until somebody's available if I do need assistance we'll see everything is a, on a we'll see basis lately so if I can't do it, then I'll just have to wait and I'll figure out some other thing that I'll do today. So every day I'm trying to do a little bit of something in the garden, even if it's not much. Every little bit helps and every little bit gets you to where you want to go, even if it's a slow go. So that's what I've resorted to doing. And I wish things could be a little different and I could get things done quicker, but that's not going to happen. So I have to adjust. And I'm not ready to sit in my rocker and do nothing. So maybe someday, but that's not healthy. So you got to keep moving. That's what my mom says. You always have to keep moving and doing things. Otherwise, you'll lose your ability to do anything as you get older. So, cheers. My mom's a very smart woman. She didn't get to 95 by being a dummy. So, yeah, I don't know. I have to figure out... My biggest thing is figuring out how to do all this with the fencing and the dogs because, you know, I have to let them out periodically during the day and I can't tie them up outside. They won't go to the bathroom. They're not used to that. They're not used to being staked out, so that's off the table. But the way the fencing is right now, I think I can work on the outside fencing because I have to move the fence inwards a little bit anyway. So I have to have a plan. So I have to go out there and actually physically start doing something as I go along. So uh, I'm just not looking forward to this. I've been putting this off since last year. <laughs> I did a lot of the fencing. Um, but it's out too far, and not only that, the grapevines are causing the fence to fall over. So that's not good. But I did order an arbor that should be coming next week, and um, I'll just have the grapevines grow up the arbor, and that will take care of that problem. So next year, I need to read up a little bit more about growing grapes because this year I didn't trim any of the grapes out and I did read that if you trim some of them out, you'll get bigger and sweeter grapes, the ones you leave. So basically, I just leave these for the birds and um, once they're gone, I'll trim the vines back and then start training them up the arbor. So it's a good thing I have that woods behind me because I take all the garden um, plants and things and debris and I make a pile back in the woods and I just put it all back there and it can return to nature. 
So that's how I deal with my garden debris. I just do that. I uh, stick it back in the woods. So, all right. Well, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And uh, I will meet you over at the budget book. Okay, back at the budget book. So, yesterday I did spend money. I have been buying things for the garden. And slowly they're trickling in. Today I got um, my fencing and my posts. So now I can get started on redoing the fencing a little bit. And hopefully it works out great. So, uh, yeah, lots of money going out the door, but these are things that need to be done. Replacing things that have been in the garden for a number of years, and uh, also some fun things. So it's not all nose to the grindstone. Some of it is more fun, but it's starting to be the fall season. So, I don't know if you guys decorate for fall. I do like to decorate a little bit, not much. But, um, you know, just getting out some fall things, some fall scented candles, some, some uh, pumpkin spice coffee, all those things. They're nice to have for the fall season. But next week it's going to <clears throat> get hot again. This week it's pretty chilly um, for August because August is usually one of our hottest months but this month it's um, kind of a chilly autumn or early autumn so all right well I'm not going to go on too much about the budget book because I still want to go to Aldi's and there's some things there that I specifically want to go for and I also want to stock up on some things before the winter weather comes in. So I'm going to concentrate more on canned goods. I'd like to get more uh, baked beans, more pasta sauces, um, maybe some canned veggies. Just in case the power goes out, those are things that you can heat and eat, and I do have a, um, uh, what is it, a butane, little butane stove. So, but I really have to get serious about looking for a solar generator. <clears throat> Nothing real expensive, but something that I can run my small appliances on, my little dash mini um, appliances or you know because I have an electric stove and an electric oven so I have to have alternative things to cook with so okay I'm going to um, head off to Aldi's and that'll mean I'm going to spend money today too well this morning I am on my way to Aldi's and I changed up my phone in the car because it was in my way. I couldn't see properly. So um, there's a couple things in their finds section that I'd like to get. So I'll show you those when I get back. But in the meantime, it's a nice sunny morning and it's a little too chilly yet. Well. I could work outside, put a light jacket on, but, you know, it's morning and I'm not in the mood to do that yet, so, um, that cover's coming. So I'm going to go ahead and just run to all these real quick because I want to make sure that I get the fines that I want because they come out with that on Wednesday. And, of course, when they're gone, they're gone. So, uh, I hope they have everything that I want. That would be good. 
but we'll see. I'll see when I get there. So this, where I have the phone now is much better. It's It was a phone holder that I found on Amazon that was really, really a good price. It was only like $10, and it's a nice phone holder. It's adjustable. Um, if I remember, I'll leave the link to it in the description box, but, you know, I'm not always good at doing that, so uh, hopefully I'll remember. But that's what I'm doing this morning, just taking a quick drive to Aldi's, and then I'm going to be going home and uh, starting to work on the garden. And hopefully I make some progress. That would be great. Oh, there's some road work going on here. So I don't want to take anybody out. I have to pay attention. Some of these workers, I don't know, they have to be pretty careful here because some of these roads are pretty busy. This street isn't too bad but it can get busy during rush hour. So, all right, well, I will be back with you when I get back from Aldi's, and I will show you. Well, I'll show you some of the things that I picked up at Aldi's. I got this little polka dot plant. It was $2.49, so I didn't need it, but I bought it anyway. And I guess it's supposed to look like a um, cupcake with a cherry on top, but it's a live plant. So I thought I'd take it home and see how it does. So I'm starting to stack up a little bit on, on things that were ruined with my mouse fiasco. Uh, there was one whole cupboard where they had gotten into where we threw everything out. It had dried potatoes and pasta and baking stuff in it. So I'm not going to uh, pack it up to the hilt, but um, I thought I would get a few extra things since this is going to be such a nutty year again. Um, so I ended up, I haven't tried these before. Uh, they're dry potato salad. That's better. And I got two of the dill and one American. And you, you know, they're dried potatoes, and you boil the potatoes, and I thought that would be good for a prepper stash. Then they had these um, pet hair remover washer balls. So I think there's, let's see, lasts up to 200 loads. So I got two of these, because I haven't seen those there before, and that, that'll last me way over a year because, you know, I don't do laundry that often. Then I got, it's getting to be that season, some pumpkin spice coffee. I don't have any of that. And also some maple pecan pie. I do have pecan pie coffee, but not maple. So I got that too. All right, I'm going to put this away and then I'll be back. Right. I didn't more. talk about these, I don't think. Uh, these are cheese and spinach manicotti, and there's eight of them in here. And manicotti is kind of, you know, more difficult to make. And I think this was like, I think it was like $4 and something. I, it was under $5, I'm pretty sure. So I bought two of those, and I thought that would be good to stick some in the freezer, uh, freeze them two at a time. And I'm also uh, stacking up on some more uh, pasta sauce. I got mushroom, roasted garlic. I really like the mushroom. Um, got the roasted garlic and the four cheese is really good too. I got some artichoke hearts. They're not marinated, they're just plain. Um, I got an orga organic kombucha mixed berry and a Synerger, Synergy raw kombucha. This one's guava goddess and mixed berry. Thought that would be delicious. I was hungry again when I went shopping. I don't have any French vanilla coffee left. 
My grandson likes that, and I bought a French vanilla creamer, so I thought that would be great for iced coffee, too. I like vanilla iced coffee. And I don't have any more vanilla. I bought these dried cranberries for baking and also for adding to a trail mix and salads. I like cranberries and salads. And then I have these two pizza doughs. This one's thawed. This one's going in the freezer. It's still frozen. So I got those. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. I think it'll be tasty. So, all right, I'm going to put this away and I'll be back. All right, well, I bought some bananas and I like small bananas. I don't like the real big ones, so I bought some of those and I like them when they're just not green. I like a very firm banana. So I bought a bunch of those. These were on sale for 79 cents, so I bought four of those. I bought some classic coleslaw mix for me. It's better to buy that than to buy a cabbage. Um, I use this up faster, and I use it in soups and stir fries and all kinds of things. Um, I can also dehydrate it if it's too much for later future me. They had Italian style cheese. I bought one of those. I'm almost out of that. And then my grandson and I, we both love boxed macaroni and cheese. So I bought this smoked Gouda one. I don't know if he'll like that one, but I will. And uh, the sh uh, shells and cheese, he does like that. So every once in a while, he'll ask me to make him some macaroni and cheese, and of course I do. Uh, he usually buys his own food, like 95% of the time. I bought these mixed greens. Again, I can use them in stir-fries, salads. Um, I can just cook them as a vegetable. You can make like a creamed mixed greens out of it. And then I've had these before. They're good. Uh, they're the stuffed Baby Bella mushrooms. And that just sounded good to me. Like I said, I was hungry when I went shopping. So I'll probably eat some of these today and finish them up tomorrow. So, but wait, there's more. Well, Aldi's had grapes on sale, so I bought these red grapes. They were, I think, $1.29 a pound. I'm not going to tell you the prices on everything because... Uh, all these is all these. They're pretty much the same. I mean, unless you live in California, and everything's more expensive out there. But if you live in a place where you know they don't charge as much, then they're pretty much the same. So I bought these fresh white button button mushrooms, and I've been kind of stocking up on these a little bit. I keep them in the fridge. But you can also freeze them for uh, some meals. I got that and uh, three cheese tortellini. And this is spinach and mozzarella. And then I've never seen these before, but I wanted to try them. Um, smoky barbecue pickle chips, bread and butter. That sounded good. So if I like them, then I'll try and figure out how I can recreate it with my own cucumbers, maybe next year. Then I got this chopped kale. I have kale starting to grow out in my garden beds, but they're really, really tiny yet, so those will grow uh, a little bit more the next couple months. So I got that because I want a nice variety of greens. And mine are pretty much done in the garden. And then I bought two of these heat and serve macaroni and cheese. Um, I got one for me. That's enough for three meals for me. I got one for my grandson. I thought he'd like that. So I picked up a couple things for him. I like to treat him once in a while just because I'm his grandma. And that's what grandmas do sometimes. So uh, this time I picked up a couple things. 
So let me put this away, and I have a few, a few more things that I want to show you. All right, so this is going to wrap up the food part. I got this uh, spinach and herb wraps before, and I really like them. So this time I thought I would try the sun-dried tomato. And since I have all those fresh greens, and I have some uh, vegetarian luncheon loaf, I thought I would uh, try this sun-dried tomato one this time. And then I also bought this uh, Dakota's Pride Brown Sugar and Hickory Baked Beans. Uh, I'm going to start picking some of these up when I go shopping. And um, in case there's a power outage, baked beans is something that quickly heats up. And it's got a lot of protein and nutrition. So I want to accumulate at least a dozen of these. But I don't want to get them all at once. So um, I hope I like them. So I got those. I got a couple more of the pizza sauces that I like. Um, I'm building up to a dozen of those. And then I thought I would try this Moscato. Uh, it was new to Aldi's and it was only $4.99. So the price was right. So I'll have to have my daughter over and share this bottle with her. And then I did buy a sourdough. This time I bought the loaf, small batch loaf, because I only have one more piece of sourdough bread left. So I figured, you know, I can make four slices and at a time and stick four slices in the freezer if I can find room. So I got that, and then I also got um, a couple of frozen pizzas. I'll show you what I I also got. bought these two frozen pizzas. I bought this Indian-style butter chickpea pizza. I have no idea if I'll like it. But I love chickpeas, so if it's not too spicy, I'm sure I'll like it. And then I've had this before, the mozzarella, mushroom, and mascarpone. So those will be for future me. I guess I'm on a pizza kick. Yummy. Well, Aldi's had some really, really great stuff this week. So I picked up... Um, couple of fall scented candles and this one is for dogs um, it's a scented candle for dogs so I picked that up and I think it's a two or three wick I got this pumpkin cream cookie that sounds like a I, I like those fall scents they're my favorites I got this pumpkin candle and then I got this one. So a few fall decorations. And these are things that I'll burn up and I can either keep the containers or pitch them, whatever. Then they had these cute sponges for $1.99. And these were either $4.99 or $6.99. Um, but they had these cute sponges. I figured I'd get these for summer. They were $1.99. For two and I figured I'd have this out for fall thought they were cute so and then I got these two frying pans this is not focusing okay I got these two frying pans one of my favorite frying pans is the deeper one around this size and I've been looking for one this size to replace my old one it's getting pretty worn and I think these were $19.99, something like that. And uh, I, like a, I like a deeper frying pan. So I'm replacing some of my older frying pans with some newer ones. So I got those. And, um, oh, I went there specifically. They had a pizza grill for $29.99. And I wanted to get that. That's why I got all the pizzas. So I want to try that out. So, okay. Got lots of stuff at Aldi's. 
and now I don't have to go shopping for quite a while. I think my lion's mane mushroom is ready to harvest. It says when the spikes are about quarter inch long, so that's what they're looking like right now. I have no idea how to cook this. I have to look that up, but I would say this was a definite success. After I harvest this, I'm going to continue and maybe I'll get a second or a third harvest out of it because there's lots of little mushrooms everywhere. So, I don't know. have to see how to cook this. Should be interesting. All right, well, this is the part of the fence that I'm going to start working on. There's a second layer of fence on that on the other side of this. So uh, this has to come down. There's all the grapevines, and I have to bring the fencing in this way a little bit. And before the guys come, I have to cut all these trees down here that have come back. I had them cut in the fall, but they're not very thick, so I have a little saw to cut the, all that with. So, and this is where the deck is going to be. So, let's see how far I get. I don't know. I have to figure out how to get these pallets out of here. And we'll see. I need to trim this magnolia, too. Oh, so much work to do. All right, well, let's see how far I get. I'm going to work out here about a half an hour. 45 minutes and that's it pulled all this out of here and now what I'm going to do is just bring this all the way out and this was all fencing and this was fencing it was a bit of overkill so and I pulled a lot of the weeds out of here this is a peach tree that I planted last year. Still lots and lots of weeds here to pull, but that's okay. And this is the grapevine, of course, that needs work. And I'm not gonna be too concerned about the grapes because they're small and sour. I trimmed this tree, trimmed the little trees over there. And this is what I've got going here that I pulled out. So I'm going to call that good for today and then tomorrow I'll start working on putting up the fencing. Over here. Okay, lots of work to do. I got this whole area cleaned up. Tomorrow I'll work on the fencing. This fencing needs to come down yet, this side. Oh my goodness. But it'll look much better once I get everything done. And I have to wait for my grandson to help me move the pallets over by where I'm going to put my little greenhouse next year. So I have to find my little saw so that I can cut all these down before the fellas come. So still lots and lots of work to do before fall weather really, really sets in. So I trimmed this magnolia, I trimmed this little Japanese maple. Maybe now it'll grow upright a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm glad I at least got this started. All right, I'm going to go relax a little bit. Something cold right, to drink. I cooked up the lion's mane, and it has a really weird texture. I'm going to give it a taste. It's very soft. I think I'd let it go a little too long, but... It's soft and chewy. And it does remind me of seafood. Mm -hmm. I like it. 
Um, next time if I grow more of these, I will not let them go as long. I'll harvest them a little sooner, but you know, for the first time, this would be good like in a, I don't know, mock seafood Alfredo, something like that. And I put a little bit of kelp on here. Yep. It was fun anyway. It was fun to grow. And it's a medicinal mushroom, so it's very healthy for you. I can't tell you everything it has in it, but I'm sure it's available on the internet. All right, well, that was tough getting that fence out of there. And uh, I'm so glad that part's done. Now, another difficult part will be the grapevines, but I'm going to cut some of those down. I'm waiting for the arbor to come. Um, or I may just leave that in the box till spring and just cut the grapevines down. But I have to do something with them um, before I can put up the new fence. Well, I don't have to. I could put the new fence. I'm br bringing the new fence in further anyway. But I'm glad I got some of that at least weeded and cut, some of the trees cut, and... Um, yeah. So this is why I'm buying food that is already prepared, that I don't have to cook. Oh, I'm going downhill here. <laughs> there we go. Um, so that when I get done after this, you know, I have about enough energy left to take a shower and call it good. So, um... But I have still leftover salmon patty. I'm glad I cooked two of them yesterday. I have one bun left. And I have some lettuce. So um, I'm just going to have a sandwich. A salmon, not salmon, sandwich. And um, maybe some macaroni and cheese. That would be good. So, all right, my friends, I'm running out of steam here. Going to finish these couple of sips of my cold coffee. Cheers. And tomorrow is another day, but I have to meet my friends at 1 o'clock. So, I don't think I'll get too much done tomorrow. But, there'll be other days, hopefully, that aren't so hot. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.